it. I've been holding off on this as long as I possibly can. It's time to end Venture Brothers. YouTube, how's it going? How is your night? How is your day? What have you? I am depressed because I am about to say goodbye to something that has been such a part of my life for so, what, 20 something years now? When did this come out? 2001, right? First Thank You Brothers episode? 2003. 2000, yeah, so 20 years. Wow, 20 years exactly I've had this in my life and I have to say goodbye to it now. And it's horseshit. We were supposed to get a season, what, eight? If I remember correctly, there was a season eight already like in production and then HBO Max was like, nah, 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 nah. No, dude, totally, take that off. I don't understand it. What are you doing? I'm really depressed. I'm gonna say goodbye to Venture Brothers now. And I am not in a in a fun place right now. I had all four of my wisdom teeth taken out four days ago, and I'm still in excruciating pain, but I feel like today, today I'm doing okay. Wanted to get some, wanted to get some recording done while I still had a chance before I gotta go back to work. Um, hi, how's it going? I am Joe Sim from bartenders.com, a little slice of life webcomic that I make about me bartending down here. It's a fun excursion because as you can tell, I'm somewhat of an artist. I tend to draw something for every reaction I do. So there's probably going to be a Venture Brothers related piece of artwork. Depends on how 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 hard in the paint I feel like going. Venture Brothers means a lot to me, man. I talk a lot about certain things and how they mean a lot to me, but there's not a whole lot of things that I've made animated videos for because I made an animated video starring 21 and 24. Like when I was, when I first started learning like flash animation, this is before After Effects, this is before Adobe Animate, this is before Toon Boom, this is before all of that, when it was still flash. I want to say this was like 2016 was when I made this. I was just trying to get lip sync down. That's all it was. It was just, I literally sat down in front of a microphone. I didn't have a script. I just recorded some garbage with 21 and 24 because I can do both of their voices pretty well. Yeah, he does them pretty well. In fact, he does this one way better than the other one. And I made this. Dude, how awesome was Game of Thrones this season? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was fucking awesome. Can't believe they actually made it to the Red Wedding. And it came out kind of spiffy. I never did anything else with it. It was literally just a quick little, quick little test run to see if I can get the mouth movements right. And then I never used Flash again. So, um, I, I, I really do not want to say goodbye to this. J uh, Jackson Public and Doc Hammer. I know that like a lot of people might not even like I, this. This video is probably gonna get like nine views because I don't think anybody even still watches Venture Brothers anymore, and that makes me sad. But like I get it, you know they go, they they disappear from from our lives for like four years on end, and then they come back. But the, every time they come back, they come back stronger. Venture Brothers is one of those few shows that just every season got better and better and better and better and better. The animation got better and better. Like the flash animation that I, if I, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, that first, that pilot episode was made with flash animation and it shows <laughs> and it shows, but man, the, like the character development in Venture Brothers might be the best character development like in, in any form of fiction in the history of time. Like Brock Samson went from, go ahead, take it from me, to one of the most lovable characters like ever. Like I actually, I always say that like my, my top 10, uh, my top 10 characters in, in all of fiction has been very carefully curated throughout the years, and Brock Samson has been my number two, probably 10 years now. My my number three was, was Walter Bishop from Fringe. My number four was, was uh, Bender from Futurama. I forget what my number five was because since then, Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls took over 
uh, bender. Monkey D. Luffy is 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 breaking the top ten recently. But my number two, Gur from Invader Zim and Brock Samson from Venture Brothers, those two have been number one and number two since I made my list. Since I created my top ten list, Brock Samson has been my number. I can normally do his voice better. I can normally do Brock Samson's voice better, but I don't know, maybe it's because I can't move my face the way that I usually do. I can do so many voices from Venture Brothers. Because those two guys do basically every voice. Let's see. Let's go through the voices that I can do. Hold on. There you go. God damn it, Brock Samson! <laughs> I tell you what, Brock! The mighty monarch! Phantom Limb's been here! <laughs> uh, hey there! Hey, don't forget about the guys who run... Uh, what were they? They ran... Uh, Fuck, it's been so long since I fucking watched this. There's Sphinx. Sphinx! Sphinx. Oh, and, and the Guild of Calamitous Intent. Wow, I haven't said the I haven't said I haven't said the words the Guild of Calamitous Intent in quite some time. Yeah! And then there's the two guys that have the heads. I can I can't really do Dana Snyder's voice, but I but there was always that one line from uh from the Alchemist when he tells when he tells uh Freaking Dr. Orpheus. Fighting the same costumed guy in the, <laughs> every single day is the gayest thing that I have ever heard. And that it's coming from someone that voluntarily has sex with men. <laughs> that was always one of the best lines of the show. There's just, there's so many voices. I'm sure as I go along, I'll probably... Surgeon Hatred! Surgeon Hatred! I, I haven't heard any of these voices in like five or six years. So as they show up on screen, once I hear them, I might be able, I might be able to get them back, which again, it hurts to talk right now. So I hope you appreciate that I'm doing this, but I, the only reason why I'm doing this now is because I know it just came out on HBO Max. I wasn't sure if anybody even knew that the Blu-ray slash DVD, whatever came out. I bought it off of Amazon fucking the day that it came out, but I still haven't watched it because I was like, I want like, I don't, I don't want it to end bothers me that Rick and Morty got as popular as it did when Venture Brothers is so clearly the superior show, but Rick and Morty got to crank them out, you know, once a fucking year, whereas Venture Brothers, we had to wait fucking forever. <sighs> but at least we, at, like, at the very least, we got a finale. That means a lot. Like Serenity, the Firefly movie, is one of my favorite movies of all time, which was the movie to wrap up the TV show was my number one favorite movie of all time for like 15 years. So I'm I'm all for TV shows that like have a have, have a special place in my heart getting a movie to wrap things up. So at least there's that. Oh yeah, Dr. Girlfriend. Man, like, I am so rusty on all these voices. <laughs> You're probably listening to these being like, this guy, this guy sucks. These voices are terrible. I promise, I, I used to be able to do them all really, really well. This is this this is bittersweet. This is a bittersweet symphony, as it were, to have to say goodbye to Venture Brothers. I'm trying to think of like what, what other Venture Brothers related stuff I have. There's a comic, because I have a webcomic, like I said. There's one of them where I think I have a shallow gravy t-shirt on. I think I made a joke about braces being a turn-on, so I took it off of the internet because I felt like people were gonna be like, you're a pedophile. Listen, blame Piper Perry for that. This comic was specifically because of Piper Perry. But look, shallow gravy. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to like just keep talking about Venture Brothers because I don't want to hit play and have it finally be over with. But it's one, it's two o'clock in the morning, and at some point I do need to get the show on the road. So without further ado, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, won't you join me for the very last, the very last Venture Brothers? You know, that's funny because now that I'm thinking about it, my very first reaction video was Invader Zim Enter the Florpus, which again was a movie to kind of wrap up the TV show. It did numbers. Back in the day, it still it, it, it still gets views all the time. So maybe maybe there's a Venture Brothers fan base out there that's still super alive and strong. And maybe you will. Maybe you're watching it right now. Maybe you're part of it, and you're like, ah, someone else on YouTube that loves Venture Brothers. Finally, because it is just it is really depressing how 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 little Venture Brothers gets talked about 
in like pop culture, like the lexicon or whatever it's called. All right, let's do it. Thanks, your brothers. Radiant is the blood of the baboon heart. Doc Hammer, Jackson Public, take it away. Can't remember the last time I heard those noises. OSI, baby. Even though I like, there he is. I don't remember anything that happened though. Hank like left, right? Yeah, Hank left to become a superhero or something. I'm trying to think what else I remember hearing James Urbaniak, the guy that plays Doc and uh, Phantom Limb, right? He plays Phantom Limb and, 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 and Doc Venture. The Batman gave it to me. <laughs> Is he still wearing the fucking stupid head? Look at how good this animation looks compared to that first episode. It's so clean. Again, if, 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 you're, if you're on this channel a lot, you know how much I appreciate clean animation. And this, this is clean. James Urbaniak, Patrick Warburton. That's the last time I'm gonna hear that. Oh, oh, relax, it's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, I forgot. Hold on, we, we gotta pause it. Sorry, we got, I, I, got a, I, I totally forgot about the the revelation. Yo, the the two biggest chills I've ever gotten in this show was when when twenty one and is is seeing twenty four's ghost, and then he talks to whoever, and they're like, oh no, freaking he, that. That guy's still alive. He was on like, I don't know, some some old TV show that, that I don't get the reference. And he was like, oh, that guy's still alive. And 21 turns around and 24 is gone. And it was all just a figment of his imagination. I got chills the first time that I saw that. But when Vendetta is like freaking out and he's like, get, get the kids. The plane is crashing. Like I was like freaking the fuck out. I'm like, what? I forgot that these two might be related. You and I have had a certain unspoken sexual tension. Well, there was that one time she seduced you and turned you into a butterfly. They said they don't have the resources to keep looking for him because some frog guy blew up or something. Brick frog? Because he could be laying dead in a ditch somewhere. Not a lot of ditches in New York City. Then the gutter in New York. Fortune. <laughs> 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 Fucking Doc. <laughs> Billy Quiz Boy. <laughs> He's gonna be like on the side. That's too funny. I've always wondered that. <laughs> like that's the only way that would ever work. Oh look, there he is. Dude, totally. What are you trying to prove? See, see, see. Better. Thank you for the ride, Mrs. Monarch. Oh, thank you for the ride, Mrs. Monarch. Quite a demonstration. Hey, help us. Hey there, it's Billy Quiz Boy's friend, Mr. White. This is a feature, not a bug. Meditating personal assistant. Who's Lawsuit. Where's the where's the original helper? You two are gonna figure out how to not crush babies. <laughs> not crush babies or whatever. There he is. Oh, stop it! They're not replacing. I was gonna say you can't replace helper. <laughs> I love helper. Yo, if twenty one can get a girl before this is over, I'll be so happy. MCRN? Oh my god. Get 
What the fuck? I thought it was Red Death for a second. Do I know a Debbie? I thought it was the fake Hank and Dean's mom for a second, but that's not her. What the fuck just happened? I mean, it still could, there's nothing blocking it. <laughs> These guys don't fuck around. Yeah, these guys. Trying to follow this nonsense. Is that Brick Frog? Yeah. Couple is two, a few is three. Clancy! I'm trying to remember all their names. Jefferson Twilight. That was the one I couldn't remember. Jefferson Twilight, the Al the Alchemist, and Doctor Orpheus. I wouldn't go in there. I had Taco Bell for lunch. I don't need that. <laughs> In your heart. Mockish Spielbergian sentiment. Where am I? Neither here nor there. I love Hank so much. Hank is one of my favorite characters in this entire show. <laughs> Thank you, Batman. Godspeed, Batman. <laughs> like when he was trying to when he was trying to sign up for Sphinx or OSI, either or. And he was like crushing it. I was so proud of him. Anytime that anytime he does something that makes Brock Samson proud of him, I'm like, Hank. <laughs> Aww. I haven't seen one of those pens in forever. It, it's, a, it's a very nice card. No, that's a nice card. Oh, the QR code. I'm stupid. Yeah, but dude, that was your ex. <laughs> I'm curious because I know if, uh, I remember I remember uh, I remember Monarch saying that he can only get off the hentai <laughs> I'm like I feel your brother I feel you she got there fast as fuck <laughs> oh, they just straight up killed everybody. The guild never, oh my god, the guild never does this. Are those bricks in everybody's face? There's bricks everywhere, yeah, yeah. Anvils or pianos. <laughs> I don't know, man. Red Death is kind of scary. Come on. Joking, he the crap. Come on. You know you're scared of him. Uh, he's a little. He's just a little bit scared. 
little bit. <laughs> Look at his face. Pretty sure I could take him. Pretty sure I could take him. They have the they have the two coolest voices. <laughs> Makes sense. Legit though, Clancy Brown and and Patrick Warburton have the two best voices in all of voice acting history. So seeing them side by side is great. Throat meat? <laughs> grapple gun? Pull on! Grapple gun brought to you by focus beam teleportation exacted by thought access inventory request. That's sick as fuck. Think of it, we can get it for you. That's sick as fuck. You totally want that grapple gun. So, boys. Grappling hook! Just pull out your porn stuffed phone and hit it. <laughs> your porn stuffed phone. <laughs> I'm so curious. Hey, just passing through on our way to Colorado. Got any room for some overnight, Jeff? We've still got your room. You like normally, these are all like based off of somebody. He looks like he's like the Doctor Who. Oh, <laughs> the Fly, the Punisher. Every now and then, Dr. Orpheus has a, has a line delivery that's just really cute. Just then, when he goes, plus it gets all wrinkly if I sit in the car. It makes me think of when he goes, <laughs> he smells my cat. Aw, this is, this is making me super sad. <laughs> Mecha Shiva. Mecha Shiva. <laughs> Mecha Shiva. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. Creepy. Oh, shit. Shallow gravy, baby. Princess tiny feet. This is impossible, by the way. I feel like I, I, I used to be able to do his voice, but it hurts to do that. The way that, he, the way that he has to talk, not good for my teeth. I loved this part where when when he finds the serrated knife. <laughs> Cute. Because like legitimately, like that stuck with me forever. Serrated knife is only for bread. <laughs> Alright, that's still kinda it's still kinda weird, but <laughs> I love these two. I love that they became like friends. I saw J.K. Simmons' name. She does look like him. It's my mom. <laughs> there he is. That's so funny. I was just saying. <laughs> he has the third best voice. My three favorite male voice actors. J.K. Simmons, Patrick Warburton, and fucking Cl Clancy Brown. <laughs> Have we ever seen Jefferson Twilight? Like, at a, like not in his prime, but... Cool. Garlic. No, holy water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy water windshield wiper fluid. 
What if it, what if he wasn't on your windshield? Eh? Sunlight, UV. That's a sun tanning bed. That's slick. But I don't think they can pull off that new jack style. <laughs> I'm just not realizing Wesley Snipes in New Jack City. Which I guarantee you that like 80% of y'all haven't seen New Jack City. Y'all should watch New Jack City. Oh shit, he got bit! Dean's gonna be a vampire? Who, Africa? <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> He's so sad he got the, the friggin' band wrong. <laughs> Shake it off. I actually like that that slogan that you just saw though. Helpers on the way. That's a good slogan for helper bots. <laughs> Team Venture. Welcome to Arch Headquarters. Or what's left of it, at least. That's you. That's you. This is a hard one to get out of. I'm sorry, Sheila, but you're gonna have to go. Run now. Run! That scared the shit out of me in Minority Report. That was legitimately one of the scariest things I've ever seen in any movie ever. I am not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna rewind at the end of this just to see the booty cheeks. <laughs> That's fucked. Is she just trying to... Is she trying to fuck with, with the guild or is she trying to fuck with the monarch? <laughs> Time out, it's an amber alert. <laughs> I feel like there's about to be a badass scene with this with this song playing, so I'm gonna lower the volume for copyright nonsense. Uh-huh. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. I'm not internationally known, but I'm known up on the microphone. Yeah. There's no way. I don't care how many helper helper pods are in that thing. There's no way they make the fucking building fly. Looks really cool, though. Like, that looks like one of the more complicated things, animation-wise, that they've... Sorry, excuse me. Animation-wise, that they've ever done. Doc, you're flying! Doc, are you okay? What the hell is going on over there? Look out! Look He's in the panic room. I'm sorry, Billy. I'm in the panic room. Mm -hmm. Burn any window. Go look out the fucking window! <laughs> Wait, why is it bleeped? I bought this off of Amazon. All I see is that looks amazing. That looks really fucking nice, though. <laughs> oh yeah, the Sean Connery guy. Party's over, laddies. Party's over, laddies. This looks so nice. Look at how, look at that. The What's the bad news? Your husband's joined Arch and he appears to be flying a building to the moon. What? <laughs> <laughs> he appears to be flying a building to the moon. I don't think he actually got bit. I, I, I can't tell if he actually got bit or if like just he accidentally got hit by two things and he thinks that he got bit. I want to move the mouse to see how much, how much, how much more I have left, but I also don't want to know. I want to know if Hank is like crazy. It's like he channels dead crazy people. Okay, all right, all right. I, I, I was gonna say, there's no way that they're letting them, that they can fly a fucking building. Oh, 
<laughs> I didn't even want to make these goddamn things. Start feeling sorry for yourself. <sighs> yeah, we do. <laughs> I love that Billy Quizboy's been around Vinkshire long enough to be like, you done? we found shooting them to be pretty effective. Now, he's only one of the four most super scientists on the planet with a seasoned super soldier at his side. That's a team you can bet on. No. I like it. He's like... Doc Fengster is one of the greatest scientists and Sergeant Hatred. I love that she's just gonna be like half naked the entire episode. She was always there. I was. Cool. I was there for all of it. Crime scene cliche here tells a different story. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, you never set out to make an I'm crazy wall, but you know, they happen. <laughs> <laughs> you never set out to make an I crazy wall. <laughs> so he sits down. Seriously, he isn't as brilliant our genitive are flying happlessly into space and overpriced real estate. A kid at the time. Adorable little rusty. I'm Sussex. super confused though. So so that's not his so that's not their mom. It's spy. Cool. And it ain't like it is in the movies, kid. He's been a spy before. After force majeure was disturbed, I knew I was next to Oh shit. Oh, Debbie? I just wanted to live a normal life. Debbie's their mom? I'm not your mom. And I've already told you all of this. What do you mean? Why am I getting like chills? I'm assuming she just means one of the clones came here. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Help her. <laughs> There's no way they have enough bullets. There's like 800 million of them. Fuck. What the fuck? Oh. Zardoz fucking reference? I actually have never seen that. I only know it because I only know it because Star Burns dressed like that in a community in community. Always a number two for some incompetent man. I'm saving you from that system. Is she in love with her or she just wants her to join her? Wait, so there is no arch? How is there no arch? He told me it was because he's stuck with Dr. Venture. No! No! Ew! 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 Get the f in the door! You are the rightful heir to the Guild of Calamity's Intense. Rise, humble servant. You shall be my steed and be at my side as I take my birthright. Shut the f and listen to that whore. <laughs> oh, Daisy. I'm not nuts, you know, just like the. <laughs> Sorry, just gotta turn off the. <laughs> but what about her whole, like, army? What about Brick Frog? Very bad. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. My weight lift was gas. It's space. No, we're falling. We're in free fall. Uh huh. Why wouldn't they have been floating at the same time? You carry them inside you always, but their time has passed. Aw, this reminds me of 21 and 24. <laughs> the fucking thing from Mario. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to remember. It was like the thing, right, from the Fantastic Four. It was like, I make a boom boom. There's no way. That, that piece of the building would just come flying off. Buy that order! Why do I feel like we're gonna get the end of this movie and we're not gonna have answers to like anything? We still don't know who their mom is. We still don't know whether they're related. Like this doesn't feel like a season long arc. This feels like a two episodes, like randomly in the middle of a season. Shit, Brock was barely in this. Don't tell me he's dead. Dude, you wake? Oh my god, he really hurt. The finger like went through him or something. Aww. Nah, you're dead, dude. <laughs> I think was... I told you. Uh huh. That's how I'm like, this is just something that Dean would do. Okay, so we at least get one. That looks like a yes. The legends are true! That's, that's cute. They're a blood match. No. Oh. Brothers? They are not brothers. They're the same guy. Or clones of the same guy. I live in a pinch of baboon DNA who was spliced into R22 to counteract the premature balding. They're identical. They're both rusty clones. Just so you know, I'm Dr. Venture. Like baboon. <laughs> I'm baboon. You make me feel like the luckiest person alive. Mm -hmm. He is a Greek myth. Seriously, Dean, haven't we had enough family history for one day? I don't even know who my mom is. <laughs> love you. I promise I do. I love you. No, fuck you. Radiant is the blood of the baboon's heart. No. Come on. You gotta give me at least one can't. Come on, you gotta give me something else. Flashback? Gotcha. But like, why not just tell them? You don't have a mom. <sighs> kind of, kind of anticlimactic. Bittersweet, definitely. I said bittersweet earlier. Definitely, I'm gonna definitely go with bittersweet. Like, uh, like I said, that, that didn't feel like the end of Venture Brothers. That felt like just a couple episodes. But three really, really good episodes. I'll give it that. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel. I, I legit don't know how I feel about this. I still don't understand how Debbie had an entire fucking team. I don't understand what happened with Brick Frog. Like, how is there no arch? What the fuck is this? When they're in the when they're in the subway, like, how is and and everybody just leaves, and these guys in fucking suits show up. If there's no arch, I don't understand what this is. I'm I'm so confused. I'm I clearly missed something. Clearly, clearly missed something there. But whatever. Phantom Limb was in it for like ten seconds. I thought Red Death was going to be a little bit more prominent, but Daisy ended up being in here the entire time. Again, none of these are complaints. I, I was smiling from ear to ear this entire movie. I'm happy we got as much Hunter... Hunter Gathers? Oh yeah, I wanted to see Dr. Girlfriend's ass again. Yeah, I'm a horny bastard, leave me alone. Anyone that's been watching this show for as long as they have knows that every now and then they give us some fan service on Dr. Girlfriend. The evidence speaks for itself. The evidence speaks for itself. I watched Emperor's New Groove for the channel a couple months ago. 
<laughs> Looks just like Minority Report. Uh, I thought there was more boot. I could have sworn there was more booty cheek in that. So be it. So be it. My sad patheticness. I still want to know what was on 21's phone. <laughs> but that was closure for Hank, at least. Like, Dean didn't really get any character development in this. I guess Dean's had a fair amount of character development over the years. You don't really need to give him any more. Hank was still kind of in his own little world all the time. So him growing up and getting rid of all of his little fucking imaginary versions of himself. It was good. I wouldn't say it was one of the stronger... One of the stronger uh, things that they've given us over the years. It doesn't feel like this is the end. It feels like this is... Like, it feels like they might get another movie, almost. But I know it's not. Like, this... I don't know. It just... This, this doesn't feel like the end of Venture Brothers. Like, at the end of the Invader Zim movie, I was like, all right, that, 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 that felt like a good wrap things up. Like, right now, I feel like next Sunday... I, that, I, that I'm going to tune into Adult Swim and get to watch another episode. But that's it. It's over. And I'm sad. Entertaining. Again, like, if, if, if this was... If this was, like, a movie in between seasons, or if this was just three random episodes in the middle of, an, of, of, of a season, like, there's... If this was anything else but the series finale of Venture Brothers... I would give this a, 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 a 10. It was hilarious. It was well animated. It was fun to watch. Great, great moments from so many people. But because it's the series finale, I feel like I'm, I'm putting it on too high of a pedestal. And I'm going to give it like a 7.5. But not like, I don't know, man. This is, it's so hard to judge this. Like, I really don't know how to feel about this. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It doesn't feel like the end, and it is the end. So it's like, like I don't feel like I have the closure that I needed for this. For something that's been part of my life for 20 years, I don't feel like I got the closure that I needed from this. Other than Rusty and, and, and the Monarch being clones. I should have seen that coming. But like, why did we spend so much time with Debbie, or with, uh, with this chick? Just to find out that Debbie is her daughter, and I'm and again I'm, that has to be when she kept saying, "Oh, you guys have come to see me a bunch of times." It has to be the clones. I want to know how the fuck they survived all their blood coming out of their eyes and shit. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe maybe when I maybe if I like sit on it, sleep on it, come back and think about it, maybe I can come to love this for what it was. As it stands, it was a very good... Look, that, that's perfect timing. My, my key light just died. As it stands, that was a very good hour and a half. That was a very entertaining hour and a half. That was a very well animated hour and a half. And again, I love Doc Hammer and Jackson Public from the bottom of my heart for the last 20 years of entertainment. Like... The only thing left to say is go team venture, but I don't I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I don't want it to go. But one last time. Thanks for joining me. Sorry that I don't have more to talk about after this, but I'm just depressed now. <laughs> I'm depressed. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So thank you for joining me. Go team venture. <laughs>